Welcome back to Remote Sensing Applications Using ArcGIS. In this week, I'm going to teach you about some raster surprises from a perspective that most folks using GIS sort of grew up with features, so points, lines, and polygons. And when we try to use raster, some of the tools and capabilities of features simply aren't there with rasters. So for example, here we have uh, square features, which essentially has the same information as our raster. And if we go to square feature, we can right mouse click and open an attribute table. With rasters, we may or may not have an attribute table. So in this case, this raster does not have an attribute table. So that's an example of a raster surprise. Another example would be with features, there's always a definition query. So we could always do some sort of definition query with features, but with rasters, if we look at the properties for rasters, there is no tab for definition query. So that's another example of a raster surprise. So in the first video session this week, we're gonna teach you about some raster surprises that you may or may not have seen if, uh, if you've used rasters in the past. And then the remainder of this week's video sessions will deal with the display of rasters. So we have different types of rasters ranging from simple 0, 1 binary bit rasters to pseudo color rasters to panchromatic rasters to true color rasters. And we'll cover all those types of rasters in this image display sequence of video sessions. Okay, one thing we're going to teach you is how to improve the contrast enhancement of rasters. So for example, this is an area in the Alaska range and it's mostly glaciers. So when we look at it, basically all the pixels are white. So what we could do is enhance the contrast by doing a contrast stretch and then we can see much better contrast within these glaciers. So here's the main glacier right here. And that's with a panchromatic or grayscale image. We could do the same thing with a color image. So here, for example, is a digital photograph of the tundra in Alaska north of the Brooks Range. And all color images have three primary colors that are being used. So the three primary colors that are used to display true color images are red, green, and blue video intensity. So we could assign a pixel value to control the red video, a pixel value to control the blue video, and a pixel value to control the green video. And it would give us a different color depending upon what, in this case, there's three pixel values inside every pixel, and which of those three pixel values control the red, green, and blue primary colors. And then also you can adjust the contrast of color images in a similar way that we do with grayscale or panchromatic images. So for example, here we enhance the contrast of this digital photo. So this week, that's what we're gonna cover is basically raster surprises and then the display of different types of raster images.